Okay. Now, once we come to state 25, this is the instruction, right? So, this is again an instruction which is not going to take a single cycle uh, necessarily, which could take more than a single cycle. So, if r is equal to 0 or memory is not ready, then you go to state 25. Otherwise, you go to state 27. So, now you see that for uh, the control, uh, for, the, for the micro instruction uh, where you are in state 25, okay, you have two possibilities. You could be in the next state could either be state 25 or it could be state 27, right. So, in this case, what you do is uh, you encode this fact that there could be two possible states as con bit 0, 0, 1. Okay. So, 0, 0, 1 in the con bit corresponds to the case when you have to wait for r to be equal to 1. So, 0, 0, 1 is, so just as 0, 0, 0 for the con bit said that the movement to the next state is going to be unconditional, 0, 0, 1 says that you need to move from, uh, you need to watch out and uh, look, look out for r. If r is a 1, you can move to this state prescribed by j 0 to 5. If r is not a 1, then you stay in the same state. Okay? And of course, i r d will be a 0. Okay? So, when r is equal to a 1, what happens is that our previous value of uh, 0 1 1 0 0 1 for the j bits now will go to will become 27 state 27 which is 0 1 1 0 1 1 okay so instead of 0 1 1 0 0 1 then you get 0 1 1 0 1 1 right and uh, that is in the case that r is equal to uh, 1 and uh, once you are in state 27 again what are going to what what's going to be the uh, control word now or what's going to be your micro instruction now the micro instruction is now going to uh, reflect or the j bits are now going to reflect what is the next state so once you are in state 27 the next state is going to be state 18 okay according to our state machine so this th and that's what is 010010 basically is state 18 that encodes the number 18 the con bits are going to be 0, 0, 0 because irrespective of any condition, you need to move back to 18 and IRD is 0. Okay? So, the uh, mechanism of how this J bit is determined using the con bits and the IRD bit is according to a piece of hardware that we are going to study just now. Okay? So, this is that piece of hardware. So, this is also called the micro sequence of control. It is a very uh, important piece of hardware in any processor. So, uh, let us look at what this does in some detail. Okay? So, now if you look here at uh, the outputs of the OR gate, the OR gate outputs are bits J0 to J5. Okay? Each of these OR gates gives you a separate bit of the uh, uh, a separate j bit okay now these so let's look at this mux here so this mux now looks at a 6 bit value which is j0 to 6 uh, sorry j0 to 5 as well as this other 6 bit value and that is 00, 0 concatenated with ir 15 to 12 when it looks at these two 6 bit values, it makes a decision as to which one is going to determine the next state. What is the encoding of the next state? Is it this 6 bit encoding on the 0 line of the MUX or is it this 6 bit encoding on the 1 line of the MUX? And how does it make this conclusion? It is going to use the IRD bit. So, if you remember the IRD bit, a single bit, if it was a 1, it would mean that this is your choice, the one line is your choice and if it is a 0, then it means that uh, the, this complicate, the, this uh, entire circuitry with the con bits etcetera, this circuitry is going to determine what is the next state. So, you pick this 
as your choice. Okay, and what you and the fifth bit address that you get is again the address of the next state in your control ROM. So now let's look at this uh, circuit here. Okay, so if you see here, G zero is the bit that corresponds to. Uh, that corresponds to uh, so okay so j bit so the j zero bit I'm sorry is the one that will stay the same as the original j zero or will change if the addressing mode is high okay so if the addressing mode if the if the output of this AND gate with the addressing mode is high then the j zero bit will uh, be a one okay. Now, what does the addressing mode depend on? It depends on IR11 and it depends on a certain value of cond 0, cond 1 and cond 2. Okay? So, if you remember I said that cond 0, cond 1 and cond 2 are 3 bits which are given 8 different conditions. So, these 8 conditions determine whether what the next state is going to be. Right? So, we know that 0, 0, 0 is a condition where nothing happens. And we also looked at one other condition, but here let us not focus on the exact condition, but just look at the uh, idea of this circuit and then we will go to the exact condition. In this case, um, cond 0 being a 0, cond 1 is a 1 and cond 2 is a 1. Okay? So, it would probably be a 1 1 0. When, con when the cond bits have a 1 1 0 on them, uh, when they carry a 110 and IR11 is equal to a 1, then the address mode will be active and J0 will be set. Okay? So, similarly, uh, J1 is the bit that reflects if the ready bit has been set or not. So, this is the bit that reflects if a memory operation has finished or not. So, this is, uh, this is going to be the uh, circuitry that will determine if R is, so when R is ready and uh, cond 1 is a 0 and cond uh, 2 is a 0 and cond 0 is a 1, which is basically a 1 1, uh, sorry, which is a 0 0 1, uh, when the cond bits are 0 0 1 and R is a 1, that means that J1 will become a 1 and that will determine what is the uh, next state of the system. Okay, so that is how the 25 to 27 happened in the last case. right? So, so if you go back to that example, right. So, in this example, uh, if you see here, the cond bits were 0, 0, 1 and when R was equal to A1, look at what happened here. The, the uh, number 25, which is 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1 now became 0 1 1 0 1 1 and that is the number 27 and that is where the number 27 comes from in your state diagram. Okay? When that 1 bit is changed, uh, when the j bit, when the uh, bit 1 of the j is changed, it corresponds to a number which is the next state in your uh, state diagram. Okay? So, similarly for the uh, J2, uh, bit 2 of the, uh, uh, the J bit, of the J bits, uh, this corresponds to whether a branch is taken or not. So, if B n is, um, is, is high and uh, there is a certain encoding here, which is basically con 2 is a 0, con 1 is a 1 and con uh, 0 is a 0. So, 0, 1, 0 and B E n is high, then that means that a branch will be taken and J 2 will be a 1. Okay? P S R again determines uh, for a different encoding of uh, the cond bits, P S R being high will determine if uh, there is if the uh, what is the correct, what is the uh, privilege mode, whether it is user or supervisor and uh, the int bit again is the uh, is the one that corresponds to the condition code 101 and when when the condition code is 101 and uh, int is high it means the there is an interrupt and j4 will now become a 1 okay so
so okay so this shows you how uh, this this highlights exactly what we were talking about right now about uh, the j1 bit okay and this also shows us how the 25 changed from a 27 changed to a 27 in the example of the load instruction okay so of course these are some other examples for your perusal and uh, uh, i'm not going to go through each of these but these are for all the these are all the states the 16 28 24 and 29 if you remember from the lc3 uh, diagram are all the states where you have a memory read so in all, in all of these cases if r is equal to 1 you go to a different state if r is equal to 0 you stay in the same state but what is interesting uh, for you to look here is that uh, in this state you uh, so if, let's say you start from 16 if r is a 0 you stay back at 16 but if r is a 1 then guess what j1 becomes a 1 and you go to state 18 so let's just uh, go back to the lc3 state diagram and uh, here you go so number 16 is right here um, Okay, so in number 16, what is happening is if you go between, if you stay um, without, if you haven't finished your memory operation, you're staying in 16, otherwise you go to 18. And the thing is, this number 18 has been encoded because of this, because of uh, the circuitry that we just saw here. Okay, so and that's what this shows you. Similarly, from 28 you go to 30, from 24 you go to 26. And so on and so forth. Okay. Now, so let's do this exercise. So the word that's stored in address 33 in the control ROM, give the leftmost 10 bits. So the leftmost 10 bits you should remember are always the microsequencing control bits. These are not the data bits. So for the word stored at address 33, you have to provide the 10 leftmost bits. Okay for the microsequencing next state bits. So now let's go back to your LC3 uh, diagram and look at what happens in number at number 33. Okay. So this takes a while to look in this uh, position because screen is a little small. Um, okay, so number 33 is right here, right. So from number 33, the question is, what are the topmost 10 bits, the uh, starting from the 48th bit to the 39th bit? what are the topmost 10 bits in the control ROM, right, for the, for, for the micro instruction at state 33, okay. So now what we are going to do is we are going to look at that micro instruction and then we are going to see what happens to this micro instruction. So it's an, it's a micro instruction that is waiting on the value of R, right. So if R is uh, true or R is high, then it goes to state 35. If R is not, it stays in th state 33. 